Hey Cancer, sorry about that, my video cut out. So I was saying reciprocity here. I feel like you do want to exchange with this person. You wanna bring balance back into this connection with this person. Um, you're kind of actually, I feel like you're in more of a, a higher type, uh, high, you're in, how do I say this? You're in a better position and you should stay in a better position when it comes to this person. Oh, I think my video just froze up, but you can still hear me. Hopefully it will come back. Okay. So yeah, you're definitely in a better position with this person. You're, you're on higher ground with them. You see how, you see how he's standing there and, and he, you know, that person is the one that's bringing the balance back. You have a lot to offer this person and they know it. Um, but I also feel like there will be communication with them or you want to communicate with them in, in your thoughts, your thinking, you know what? I am in this place now where I'm over any betrayals, I'm over all the bull. And if there's gonna be a connection between us, then this energy here, this needs to be done. Any betrayals or any negative talk or not negative talk, but like, it's just that you're, you're at rock bottom now with them whatever the issue is even if they did or you think that they're with someone else you don't even want to think about it anymore because in your mind you know even if they're not with that person there's this energy of you just even if they just have an emotional connection with them it's a betrayal to you and it's only a betrayal to you because they really weren't connecting to you emotionally in the way that you wanted. Now, this person's energy, they, you know, they're trying to figure out what they want. You are actually cloaked here. Do you see that? It's almost like a ghost. Cancer, I feel like you have just kind of like disappeared and it's got them curious about where you are, what you've been doing. You may have blocked them and decided to just, you know, do your own thing and move on. They know what their other options are, but you're the one that they're curious about. You're the one that they're wondering because I feel like you just came to the end of things with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. You know this is a good connection, but you don't want any more to have to compete for someone's attention or compete with another person. You're done with any type of betrayal and you're done with betraying yourself too. And you're letting go of your emotional insecurities. But I feel like this person, they have choices to make, but they're looking at you. You're, you're the one that stands out the most to them. And I wanna pull another card for their energy. They do feel like their life is good and they have everything that they need. You know, I was meditating on this card the other day and I'm glad that it's not in the reverse not that I read reversals, but I do feel like they are happy and content with their life. They have that emotional happiness in their life. They're, but you're a wish for them. You really are. And it may not feel like it to you. And that could just be what's happening with inside of you your emotional insecurities and things like that. In other words, like if you're, if you have um, emotional insecurity about yourself or your self-esteem is not 
where you don't think anyone can truly love you or this person was really feeling like you were it for them, you would deny and not believe it because you don't believe that about yourself. But I do feel that they are altruistic about you, but they do stay a little bit blocked with you right now because they're not sure where you are, what you're doing, what's going on with you. Judgment is reconciliation. So I do feel like they're going to come back and bring you a sense of hope and peace. The Ace of Wands, this can represent um, new passions, the potential for a passionate, connecting passionately again with this person, with them. Some of you also, even though, you know, you may just, you may be trying to figure out if you just want to stay friends with this person because of the two of cups here okay this connection that you had with them became very overwhelming and you just kind of feel lost in December and I feel like December you're coming to this point now where you know you're done with this you're done with this connection and that's going to be a truthful communication that you give to them. So in doing so, you may have someone new coming in, an Aquarius, who does open up to you. And there is a potential for new, a, a passionate new beginning with an Aquarius as well. So your hopes and fears. Well, I do feel like you hope that you can have perhaps a friendly innocent uh, conversation with this person or you hope that they will maybe reach out to you maybe send you pictures or um, have nice innocent com you know messages back and forth but you do fear that you're not going to be talking to them anymore you may not be ready especially And I do, I do feel like your past position, you had some major transformation in your life that did bring you huge victory. You went from having such a uh, stressful time in your life to bringing about positivity and warmth and going after what you want. Your outcome is beautiful. You have the Ace of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Cups. So there is someone who secretly wants to be with you and is ready for a new love start okay so we have two water signs here this can be um cancer another cancer scorpio or pisces and i feel like this person whoever they are they're going with their gut they're trusting their intuition so if this is reconciling with someone from your past I do see a new beginning happening here at the end of the month. Either in love or just being friends and having perhaps someone new coming in, connecting with you. So it can really just go either way, which is kind of a bummer as a message because I know you want to know. I'll clarify the outcome one more time. Hmm. Well, whoever is, wherever this new start is at the end of the month, this cup being offered to you or receiving messages, intuitive guidance from another person, I think it's something that you will be contemplating or thinking about because this is someone who's been in a battle and who has been hurt and there is a possibility that that could be someone from your past where you need to like trust your intuition about them if you want to you know you need to contemplate 
if you want to go another round with this person. I don't necessarily feel like that person was cheating, but I feel like you have this sense that there was betrayal or that they betrayed you in some way. And now the King of Pentacles is here. So this could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This person, if it's them coming back, they're going to show you that stability and that they're serious. Earth signs are very grounded. And so you, um, I think that you're really just... I think you want to reconcile with someone. You want to clear the energy, have a clean slate. But this person does want commitment. They do want a happy family situation with you. They have a lot of choices. They have options. Of course they do. If you're single, of course you do. Um, but they're looking at you. The one who got away especially if you ended something with someone and just kind of disappeared so they couldn't see you anymore your wish for them so you just have to wait and see how this energy plays out if this is someone who's coming back into your life two pages here definitely hoping for messages and communication heartfelt messages communication about growth you're hoping for that. King of Cups. You might have two two offers as well. Earth sign, water sign. I think it's the water sign that's going to offer the love though. Really, because that one cup represents the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> the King of Pentacles... <clears throat> this person may just offer stability or the other one offers love and emotion so you may have to decide I feel like for a lot of you there's going to be two options you know and whoever it is try not to focus too much on um, the signs so it could be water and earth or it could just be water earth combined somewhere but it could be one person offering stability and their love or two different people you'll just have to see how that plays out for you either way whatever's coming through this is you should i should i get back in the ring with this person do i do it again because i think you want to and if not with them you definitely want a new start in love and options and offers will be there towards the end of the month and i feel like this person here whoever you're dealing with they're either going to come to your home or they they will be going home i don't know how that relates but this has something to do with family or marriage and celebrations so this could be around the holidays you might be hearing from this person sometime this month all right cancer um, so hopefully you will be able you didn't miss part one of your reading it's already uploaded and um, I'm gonna see if I can put a link to this video in the part one cancer video if not, hopefully it will just show up for you. So if you're listening to this part two, make sure, and you didn't hear part one, make sure you go back and listen to part one. Okay, guys, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. And I will hopefully see you guys in January. Okay, bye.